Grassland Birds in Ohio by Tim Colburn, Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society, with photographs by Tom Fishburn, also of Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society. While many North American bird species are in decline, few groups are in as steep a drop as the grassland species. Further reading on the topic can help provide focus on the scary details and the steps being taken to help. There are plenty of states throughout our great nation that historically included hundreds of thousands of acres of natural prairie grasslands. Ohio was not one of them. Heavily forested when expansion of European settlers began, much of those woodlands were felled over time to make way for farming to feed families and communities. That opening of farmlands created prairie-like habitats that helped to attract and increase grassland birds. But over time, farming practices increased their efficiency including heavy use of pesticides and equipment that left little edge cover um, along borders and fence rows that ultimately led to reductions in nesting and wintering capability. Ohio has many places a birder may go to observe the species that winter, migrate through, or breed in the state. Today, there are several counties in the state with good grassland habitat, but one of the biggest assists to grassland birds has been the conversion of former coal company strip mine land to grassland habitat, primarily in central Ohio. These reclamations have been very popular with birds and birders alike and provide large swaths of land that harbor nesting species in numbers much greater than smaller pockets of habitat elsewhere. A great example is the Wilds property in Muskingum County. For the intrepid birder willing to travel from destinations near the state borders, the wilds can provide an exciting day or more of grassland birding in late May, June, and even into July and August. Several species can be reliably found, though sometimes heard rather than seen, along several roads adjacent to the wilds, including Henslow Sparrow, Grasshopper Sparrow, Savannah Sparrow, Eastern Meadowlark, and Bobolink. They all breed in the area, allowing birders to find them well past migration. In winter, this area can also produce observations of both northern harriers and short-eared owls. Several good grassland species exist elsewhere in the state, and here is a selected list of just a few. The first Tri-Valley Wildlife Area, also in Muskingum County, holds breeding grasshopper and Hanslow sparrows, and historically, both ringneck pheasant and bobwhite have been found at Tri-Valley. Fernald Preserve in southwest Ohio in Hamilton County is a multi-habitat property that includes grasslands and their associated species. Like the wilds, both harriers and short ears may be sighted in winter, but the true joy of grassland birding is in the spring and summer, as grasshopper, savanna, and henslow sparrows may all be found along with meadowlark and dick sissel. Kildare Plains Wildlife Area in Wanadot County is the breeding home to ringneck pheasant, horned lark, sedge run, Vesper Sparrows, Savannah Sparrow, Grasshopper Sparrow, Hansler Sparrow, Bobolink, and Eastern Meadowlark. While their populations have declined since the early 1970s, Bob White can sometimes be seen at Kildare. And in winter, Northern Harriers and Short-Eared Owls share the same habitat at different times of a 24-hour day. Oak Openings Preserve Metro Park near Toledo, Lucas County, is located within an oak savanna ecosystem, and its grasslands represent a small percentage of the park. But grasshoppers, savanna, and henslow sparrows may all be found here, along with eastern meadowlark. Most interesting, however, may be the fact that the park may be the most reliable spot in the state to find nesting lark sparrow. 
These large, showy sparrows find the dry, sandy, and weedy grassland patches at op openings perfect for nesting, and many an Ohioan birder has picked up their life or lark sparrow at the corners of Girdham and Reed Roads in the park. OSU Livestock Facility in Franklin County, in addition to all the expected grassland sparrows, grasshopper, henslows, and savannah, as well as bobolink, eastern meadowlark, and dick cecil. The livestock facility has been very reliable for upland sandpiper, a grassland shorebird, pardon the oxymoron, that has been in significant decline in Ohio. Closer to Northeast Ohio, there are several places where grassland birds may be found, generally in smaller numbers, but fairly reliable. Here are a handful. Bath Nature Preserve in Summit County. Henslow sparrows, bobolinks, and eastern meadowlark are all annual breeders here. Wick Road in Wayne County. Grassland species often found here include grasshopper and savannah sparrows, plus bobolinks and eastern meadowlarks. Then the bonus is they're very reliable for dick sissel in the late spring into early summer. Coliseum grasslands at Cuyahoga Valley National Park in Summit County. A good numbers of breeding bobolinks and eastern meadowlarks every year, and in some years, grassland sparrows, including both henslows and grasshopper. Margaret Peak Nature Preserve, located in Lorraine County, this park continues to improve as it transitioned from a hybrid that housed many acres of agricultural space, mainly soybean, to a full-fledged wildlife area. The bird life has improved as well. It is recently the closest reliable location near Cleveland to find Dick Sissel. In addition, look for grasshopper sparrow, savannah sparrow, and eastern meadowlark. In some years, vesper sparrows can also be found here.